This video was made in response to the challenge set by the Film Prompt Society. December's always an interesting time of the year. Several holidays all falling around the same time, people wrestling in shops to get the best deals, draping their houses in countless decorations, and otherwise running around like headless chickens. Chickens that are on fire. And in an oil refinery. But somewhere amongst this festive red mist, we find the time to spend with our families and friends, drink excessive amounts of booze, and otherwise be generally quite merry. Now it can be difficult to see up from down during this melee. Mistakes can be made, and sometimes you accidentally eat what you thought was a gingerbread person, but it turned out to be a wood carving of Santa. These things happen, but I, I want to do something about it. I wanted to create a machine learning algorithm which will be able to use to determine if something is in fact a gingerbread person, or if it's something festive one of your younger siblings decided to make in DT this year. Simple enough, right? I took to the internet a few days ago as I needed data, and I asked for everyone's best attempts at gingerbread people and also other assorted items. And of course people delivered. Thank you, Dan. Now because we have such a small data set, I'm gonna to have to first artificially inflate the size of it. I do this by creating duplicate items, reflecting each image horizontally, vertically, and then both. And then also alter the hue, saturation, and contrast of each of these images, creating loads of copies of them. Great. Whilst we don't have a huge data set, we have something that's fairly chunky. Now let's get to the actual machine learning. Now I want to create a model that can be followed easily by a human in a very drunken haze. This is why I'm opting to use the decision tree algorithm. Just a quick breakdown, a decision tree is exactly what it sounds. It's an inverted tree that you follow down answering yes or no questions to come down to a decision at a leaf. It's generated through a process that I'll save for another time. I have created a blog post about this on my Tumblr blog, Aesthetically Pleasing Code, for those of you who are interested. Link in the description below. But all you need to know is that it's an algorithm that tries to split the data set on a certain feature in order to generate two sets which are as different as possible, i.e. one set with all one type of thing on one side and all the other type of thing on the other side. But before we can even begin this process, we need the actual features to measure. And remember, we want this to be as human friendly as possible. So, and mostly for simplicity, I'm going to be using the RGB values of every pixel in the image as a feature. So each image will have 32 by 32 by 3 features or 3072 features. Right, nearly there. Now we have to split up our data set. We split the data into a training set and a testing set. The training set will be used to teach our algorithm what is and what isn't a gingerbread person, and the testing set will be used to test our algorithm. I'll use a 66% split. That seems about right, and mostly because it's the default in Weka. Great, we have our features, our training set, and our testing set. Let's train a decision tree on these bad boys, and let's see what it creates. Oh boy, wow, that's a bit bigger than I expected. Okay, let me just alter one little value and much better. Yeah, way better, I can read this one. As a final test, let's whip up a couple of new pictures ourselves and see how our decision tree performs. Here's one gingerbread person and one other. We load these two pictures into our algorithm, shove them into the model and perfect, there we go. Well, I mean, 80-ish percent is okay for little to no work whatsoever. I guess if you don't want to eat any wooden Santa statues this year, maybe just don't do that. Thank you loads for watching. If you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like, and if you really enjoyed it, maybe think about subscribing and hitting that bell button to stay up to date with any future videos. Do remember to check out the Film Prompt Society, links in the description below. Otherwise, that's pretty much it. Thanks again for watching, hope you have a very Merry Christmas and or Happy Holidays, and I'll see you next time.